Dear students, now we will be going through the exercise 1B, question number 3, bit number 4. So the question is 4 1 by 5 plus minus 5 3 by 10 plus 1 1 by 2. This you have to simplify. So it is in the mixed fraction. This is also mixed fraction. This is also mixed fraction. So first we will convert into improper fraction. Fine. So 4 5 is 20, 21 by 5 plus bracket 8, 5 times 50 plus 3 minus 53 by 10 plus 1 2 is 2, 3 by 2. So first what I am going to do, first I am adding the number and then subtracting. The number with a positive sign I am rearranging. So first I am writing 21 by 5 and then 3 by 2. So 21 by 5 plus 3 by 2 and adding first. So within a bracket 5 to the 10. So 5 to the 21 to the 42. 2 5 the 5 to the 15. Minus 53 by 10. So 42 plus 15 is 57 by 10 minus 53 by 10 so 57 minus 53 is 4 4 by 10 so 2 2 is 4 2 5 yeah. so answer is 2 by 5 now come to the question number 4 here we have to verify fine so the question is minus 3 by 4 plus 7 by minus 8 equal to 7 by minus 8 plus minus 3 by 4 so we have to verify this by using LHS and RHS so LHS is left hand side RHS is right hand side so first left hand side minus 3 by 4 plus 7 by minus 8 now you see this is 7 by minus 8 the denominator is in minus so it is not in the standard form so first we will convert into the standard form by multiplying minus 1 that is negative in the denominator and numerator so it becomes minus 3 by 4 minus 7 minus minus plus minus 7 by 8 so 4 and 8 LCM is 8 4 to j and minus 3 into 2 is minus 6 minus 6 minus 7 so minus 6 minus 7 is how much minus 13 by 8 similarly now we'll move to the rhs side in the rhs side also you see in the first fraction first rational number 7 by minus 8 so minus 8 it is not in the standard form so first we'll convert into the standard form that is we multiply minus 1 in the denominator and numerator so it become minus 7 by 8 and minus 3 by 4 so uh, now we will take LCM 8 and 4 LCM is 8 minus 7 4 2 j 8 so minus 6 so minus 13 by 8 now you see that in the LHS also minus 13 by 8 in the RHS also minus 13 by 8 therefore LHS equal to RHS therefore our this question is verified fine now come to the question number 5 bit 1 minus 5 by 8 plus 9 by 8 bracket outside 13 by 8 is equal to minus 5 by 8 plus bracket 9 by 8 plus 13 by 8 so first let us solve the left hand side lhs so that is minus 5 by 8 plus 9 by 8 plus 13 by 8 so this all the number all the rational number are in the standard form because the denominator are positive no need to make now lcm is 8 minus 5 plus 9 so that is 4 by 8 plus 13 by 8 so 4 plus 13 is 17 by 8 now let us come to the rhs side so minus 5 by 8 bracket 9 plus 8 plus 13 by 8 here also the denominator is positive so it is in the standard form so minus 5 by 8 8 is the LCM 9 plus 13 how much 22 so minus 5 by 8 plus 22 by 8 that is equal to 17 by 8 so you can see in the LHS also 17 by 8 RHS also 17 by 8 so therefore LHS is equal to RHS therefore the given question is verified now come to the question number 6 to find the additive inverse so already i have informed you the additive inverse is nothing but that is the just negative of the questions so if it is a 2 by 3 its additive inverse is minus 2 by 3 now if it is a minus 15 by minus 11 so first we have to convert it into the standard form so multiplying minus 1 both in the denominator and numerator it become 15 by 11 so 15 by 11 additive inverse is minus 15 by 11 similarly 8 by minus 29 so first we will convert into the standard form so it become minus 8 by 29 now its additive inverse is 8 by 29 now let us come to the question number 8 verify that minus bracket outside minus then minus x equal to x where x value is given as 7 by 6 so you have to just verify so it is very simple minus of minus x so minus of minus 7 by 6 
so minus into minus is plus 7 by 6 and in RH is already X X is 7 by 6 since LH is equal to RHS therefore it is verified so here in this video we have completed up to question number 8 in the next video we will be continuing after question number 8 that is we will start from question number 9 thank you